And the 15 boys are off. 100 meters event. It's a close thing to call. Overdale Thompson of Harrison College. It looks like the one who's showing it. Overdale Thompson. Thompson of College. Ran road to Courage and Parry. And Alan Jones also of Courage and Parry. But no doubt about Overdale Thompson. Out like a flash. Clocks 11.25. 100 meters event. The first person we're going to interview is Obedele Thompson of Harrison's College. He was the winner of the boys under 15, 100 meters. How long have you been running track? I've been running it for about seven years. Okay, and um, I see you won the 100 meters. What do you expect to do in the 200 meters? I expect to win it an even faster time than usual. Are you thinking about going on? Are you thinking about Carifta Games or, or some other meet this year? No, not this year. Maybe next year. Yeah. That's Obadell Thompson. Now it's really warm. Ran Roach of Courage and Parry has to contend with Obadell Thompson of Harrison College. They're coming on to the straight, and it's Thompson. Thompson of Harrison College. Thompson of Harrison College in the middle of the track. Thompson of Harrison College running away with it. It's close for a second. Ran Roach of Courage and Parry does it. But Thompson, an easy winner. On the 17 boys, 100 meters final. Carifta gold medalist, 1991. Thompson and Roach. Roach of the better jump. Thompson and Roach. Thompson and Roach. Thompson coming away from Roach. Thompson and Roach. Thompson wins it easy. Not really pressed, not really pushed. I think Thompson, he didn't get the best of starts. A class athlete here, but I have a little eye for a guy called Ryan Roach of um, CP. He's one to watch. And don't remember this, don't forget this morning, Obadell did not get the best start. And he almost, well, he could have lost. He could have lost 100 meters, but he didn't. And perhaps if he gets a bad start this time, Ryan Roach might just snip him. But we'll have to wait and see. They're not in their lanes as yet. They're still getting their, themselves together. But I think, Noel, this one can be a cracker-jacker. Perhaps it could turn out to be one of the events we'll remember here at the National Stadium. But well, let's talk about the, the lanes first before we get to a comment. We have Neil Ford of Grantley Adams in lane one, Michael Beckles, Lodge, Fabian Johnson, St. Michael's, Obadell Thompson, the favorite, Harrison College, Ryan Roach, his nemesis in lane five, Alan Jones, CP, Carlos Clark, Phil and his boys, and Sherlyn Mears of the Law School. Also, another guy to watch will be Carlos Clark of St. Leonard's. Your predictions quickly, Barney. Well, over there, Thompson, is we call him the Rolls Royce and the track and field in this country. I mean, the defending champion. Remember last year, we talked about this same race. Again, he was able to beat Boyd Spade for the first time, and he went on to win the career for goals. And I mean, his style alone, Freda can tell you, Freda's been watching him. His style alone, he's the car Lewis it's of Black and Field. Excellent style, so. excellent style. Very, very smooth. That, that's the key to And thing. they're off and running. Roach is running, so is Thompson. Thompson has, has him collared at the stage. But Roach is not giving up, but as they hit the, t the turn, it's Thompson and Roach fighting back. Roach and Thompson, Thompson and Roach. Thompson joining his class. Look at the lane. Look at the lead. 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 And also, Parkinson School looking pretty good. Carson College not making an impression at this stage, but perhaps they think they have enough points that they have things wrapped up overall. St. James the is Lord running really good. St. James. Lodge and St. James battling out on the first leg. <laughs> Lodge and St. James. St. James taking command. But it's still touch and go. But St. James just coming ahead of Lodge. Lodge not giving up. And it's toe to toe business as Lodge just forging ahead. Not much to speak of. As Fabian Wallace is on that second leg, Andy. Fabian Wallace is on that second leg for Lodge. Ryan Booth is on the second leg for Combo Mayor. There's going to be a lot of running. Arthur College is in it, Andy. Arthur College is in it. College back in it as well. I think they're all back in it. They're proof they're running this leg for Combo Mayor. 
He's going to give them back for 10. Fabian Rollins is running away to the leg, Ivy. What's that long? Fabian Rollins is running away to the leg. Fabian Rollins on the outside. Fifth place. This is a half mile of 1500 meter run of a Harrison College. I think they have to watch out Brewster as well. Harrison College is in the lead. Brewster is there. Everybody is there. St. Tails is there. It's all on the I hope you guys don't finish at the third leg for Harrison College. But Queen's College is closing on Harrison College. Now Fabian Wallace is also there. There's cover me. Obidal Thompson takes the stick now. Ahead of the run of Queen's College. Parkinson is there. So is Lord. So is cover me. Obidal Thompson swings off the turn. <laughs> and into the basket. You see the beauty of the sprinter running the quarter. Do you see the beauty of the sprinter running the quarter? goes to work on the basket. The beauty of a sprinter running a quarter, Barney. is as smooth as the... As he the, goes down the back stretch. The beauty of a Smooth, sprinter running a quarter, Barney. And he goes into the box now, Andy. He Pick goes into the box. And this That's boy is yeah. excellent, Andy. This boy is... This boy is class. The so much of class of this meet. He's quarter. opened up a substantial lead. Um, the other competitors, Obidia Thompson, certainly the cream of the crop here. And it over the last lane. He's glad to finish it though. Come here, in there second. And Harrison College and is Queen's third. College is in third position. Come here, second. By Queen's College, third. Parkinson, fourth. And Lodge, fifth. And I put my, so I put my hand on Queen's College, Harrison College has got it. It's over. Harrison it's over. College has got it all thrown out. He's ahead by about 30 meters. And I don't think there's any catching Queen Harrison College today. Queen's Harrison College, College taking the final relay and the championship here this afternoon at the Inter-School Athletic Championship 92. Harrison College, <laughs> Harrison College winning everything and Andy, as should be expected, taking the 4x400 four meter relay. Harrison College, the premier event here, winning, running away with the boys 4x400 four four meter relay. Awaiting the last of the 100 meters event, the under 20 boys final. And this should be a cracker. We have in lane one, Sherian Franklin of Alexandra, Andre Alleen of St. Lucy in at lane two, the Northern School, Jason St. Hill of Queen's College, Obadell Thompson of Harrison College. I have no doubt he'll be the overwhelming favorite here. Nicholas Chandler of the Commonwealth School, Fabian Johnson of St. Michael, Kerry Grant of the Aline School, and on the outside, Kurt Arthur of St. Michael School. Your own favorite, Oberdell, Frida? Oberdell, definitely. He has proven himself to be the class of the field. We will just see how well he does in terms of the time he returns, and we will see what kind of challenge can be mounted from the competitors in this event. So we have a full start. Oberdell Thompson is running in lane four. This race is definitely going to be close. This one is going to be very tight. Unless, of course, Frida, Oberdell gets a very good start and moves out there. If he does that, he will take command of the race, and I'm sure they'll have the time of their lives trying to catch him. Oberdell traditionally gets a good start, moves over the block, and by 50 meters, he's usually in control of the race and out in front. So let's see if he's going to do it here today. Certainly Sylvester Harrison College will be banking on this win to assist them in that points run for the championship. Good start and Oberdell Thompson is out fast. So too is Nicholas Sandler of Cumbermere. Oberdell Thompson and Nicholas Sandler. Oberdell Thompson. Oberdell Thompson wins it. And it is between Nicholas Sandler of Cumbermere and Jason Sintel of Green College for second and third. I think Jason Sintel might just have got second. Look that way, Sylvester. Again, we see Oberdell in his traditional form, general to the block. He never seems to be pushing himself. And 
speaking from a developmental point of view here for track and field in Barbados, we need to get some additional competition for Obadelli Thompson if he is to make his mark on the even the junior international scene. He has been running consistently well and are running away from the rest of his competitors for quite some time. And it means that he is so far up in front, we're not going to see him really press. We don't know what he will do on the circumstances where he faces people that are as good as he is. Peter is final, the under 20 boys. And although he might be a very clear favorite, especially looking at the qualifying times here, Obadella Thompson of Harrison College, 21-3. In lane one, Fabian Johnson to Michael. Lane two, Carlos Clark to Leonard. Lane three, Jason St. Hill, Queens College. Lane four, Obadella Thompson, Harrison College. Lane five, Greg Ward, Queens College. Lane six, Neil Ford, Brentley Adams. Lane seven, Nicholas Chandler, Tom Amir. Lane eight, Paul Jones, the Lodge School. Any moment now, they'll be off and running. And in a very short odds to take this one on a canter is Thompson of Harrison College. And yes, it's pretty we're talking about, but I believe it's that much better than this. Uh, the others at this stage of their, their respective development. So who knows, maybe Thompson will in fact win it in a canter. But like I said, in track and field, as you all well know, um, I'm free that you really can't take take anything for granted. Nothing for granted, but it, it would be very difficult, I would think, to beat Obadali if he's fit and in good form, concentrated. I think this is his race. The race will be really for second and third position. Well, he's always been a very focused young man. He knows exactly what he wants. So I'm sure he'll have no problem. And already he has them for dead. Already dead and buried. Thompson is running the turn, and that's where all the will get burned. It's Thompson coming up the stretch, who is going to come second, third, and fourth. That's the only interest at this moment, and it's a cool boy from um, Prince College, and I make it Jason Simhill second, and the other collegian, Greg Ward, third. But no doubt about the winner from as early as the first 50 meters, I will say. Obadella Thompson had them covered, beaten, dead, and almost buried. 50 meters has the race thrown up. Obadali ran the turn. That is the key to the 200. But clearly he is the class of the team. He's extremely talented. He certainly has a good future in track and field. What he needs, as we well know, is international competition so that he can develop this tremendous talent that he's got. See a number of other schools sharing in the honors. The comp competitiveness has been from the traditional powerhouses in the past, and now we are seeing some of the newer secondary schools, for instance, Dayton Griffith, who has only been on the scene for about a year or two, hanging in there and showing their work. And they're off and running the under-20 boys final. Queen's College looking pretty good. Also, still Lennon's boys at this stage, Grantley Adams. Harrison College are way behind in this one. Queen's College doing extremely well. But of course they have Obadella Thompson at the end of the rainbow for them. College not a factor at this stage. And it looks like Queen's College can win this one. Queen's College might very well win it. Thompson has a lot of work to do. Can he get out of it? Here comes Obadella Thompson. Thompson and St. Hill. Thompson and St. Hill. Thompson is going to win it. Thompson will get for college. Obadella Thompson win it for college. A magnificent run. What a difference it made when you have an Obadella Thompson doing the anchor for you. Yes, Andy, we saw the traditional Obadella Thompson run away down the straightaway, but what is significant also is that the Queen's College team did not let up and they kept going. It was touch and go. He did not get a chance. To, Obadelli didn't get a chance to just run away with this. The competition is extremely keen here, but what was very significant too in this relay for Queen's College was that excellent back straight run. I know track event. Rehearsal College going in as a favorite. Queen's College having to withdraw, unfortunately. One of their runners pulling a hamstring, um, Frida. Yes, I understand that one of their runners is hurt. As a matter of fact, he is lying on the track in front of us, this ice on his leg. 
So Queen's College has withdrawn. I don't see the team from St. Michael's either. Well, it looks like the St. Michael team has also been withdrawn. Yes, seven of them involved there. So St. Michael is still very much involved in this particular event. Let's see how it goes, though. Lord Poole. Okay, the Lord Poole making a grand effort to win this one. Aline also involved. Carson College in the chance, but at the moment as you look down the track, it's Aline who is in the lead. This is the first handover in the 4 by 400 meters relay. Aline still lead from Combermere. Carson College not a factor as yet. What in fact we are hearing in the background the current girls point but Aline is a comfortable lead at the moment they're actually closing the gap on the Aline school Harrison College, Commonwealth, Lodge, you name it they're all getting into the hang of things Andy we see here coming off of the 205th place Ryan Highland of Harrison College perhaps trying to see if he can overtake the other runners in fact he just passed he's not in fourth position trying very hard to get up to the front for Harrison College being challenged there at Lodge School, Combermere and the Allen School. Here comes Ryan Highland of Harrison College to put them in the lead in this 400 meters relay. <laughs> So Harrison College, a strange action, what an action from the Harrison College lad, but who knows, being pursued, being chased by Lodge, who goes out front, Harrison College in second position, Cobham Mayor drop back to the fifth position, even though as we speak we understand that they're Cobham Mayors, but in fact have already clinched the girls, so everything hanging on this one for the boy, and it's a large school, and it seems to be an interesting battle between Lord Harrison and Ian making us a bit to get back into it. And if Fabian Wallen is having the final battle, the final leg, it's going to be quite interesting seeing Wallen and Oberdelli. This is going to be an interesting run here. Wallen and Oberdelli Thompson. And I'm going to put my money down on Thompson to win it, Long. Once they get the battle together, and once they split the twenty two hundred meters, you can put your money down on Thompson to win it. Thompson is going for it quite early. He knows Wallace is the steerer. Wallace is the man with the real quarter miler in this one. And um, Frida, are you going for the real quarter miler or the top sprinter? And do you know my sympathies would lead with the sprinter? Obedali has to have enough coming off of this turn to hold off Fabian Rollins, who certainly has the strength to come back. And here we see Fabian Rollins doing exactly that. Obedali might not be able to save him off. And there goes Fabian Rollins, Lodge School, winner of the 4x400 meter relay. A good fight by Obedali, but perhaps he moved a little too soon to take Fabian Rollins down, and Fabian, by virtue of his strength in the 400s and the 800, was able to come back and win for the Lord's School. Peter's boys on a 20. And they're off with you to watch Obadelia Thompson of Barbados in lane number five, and in lane number four, Jason Shelton of Jamaica. They're coming down. And it's going to be Thompson. Thompson wins it in a time of 10.71 seconds. Second, Shelton of Jamaica, 10.80. Third, Rickard of Guadalupe, 10.83 seconds. And the Bajans go wild in the stands and on the track. They got out pretty slowly. But I just remembered to focus down. And even though you see three, four people in front, they just remember that you've done the work. And so as it progressed coming up 50, 60 meters, I became more confident. I saw them coming closer and close to myself, and I just held on to the form. That takes me out again.
And they're up and, and it's a good run. Up to the corner, but it's one. Up to the corner, but it's one. Top 10 wins it easily. Top 10 wins it easily. Top 10 wins it to the captain. Up to the top 10 wins it to the captain. He wins it to the captain. For the time to come to win. There was only one man to win. I've never seen it so easy at the National Stadium. I mean, they had about three, four, four, stuff. yet you remain as cool as a cucumber. Oh, I think just a matter of practicing a lot of starts and also the workouts that I've been doing, which helped me out in the strength of the 100. Well, we know you would have been doing a lot of indoor due to the, the weather in the state. How, how, how well prepared were you for the change in climate coming down here? Well, it's starting to heat back up in um, El Paso, Texas. So. I was getting prepared well. The unofficial word is that you did 10.00. Were you expecting that sort of time? I <laughs> know. Unofficial. Okay. It's over there, Thompson. Officially. The first female starter in the Commonwealth. St. Hill, Robinson, Thompson, Zami, Jervis, McDonald, Babs, and Clark. The gun will go anytime now. And the fourth star. Looks like the boy in lane four. Lane five, Jackson. She hasn't been doing a lot of that. This time she has. She did predict early on in the 800 meters that Janelle Innes had it won of about 300 meters to go. And they're off and running, and Thompson is running really fast. It's all over by the children. Take my word. He is first into the turn, and they're coming after him, and they're coming into the stretch now. Thompson is going to win this one in the canter. He is pushing away from the field. They're just settling for second, third, and fourth position. Thompson in the class all of his own. He wins it over there, Thompson. He wins it. At a tremendous time, 20 to fight for the unofficial time. The crowd has got what they wanted. Let's listen to the crowd. And once again, Obadele Thompson has consented to talk to the press. Another goal for Thompson, another goal for Barbados. Losing it feels great because the last three years I've been unable to do it. I've been winning the country, so to do it in front of everyone, the head coach is good. What made a difference this time around? I think the hard work that I've been doing and you know, just working hard on, hard on the bench. Mm -hmm.